Okay, let's do a gravitational gravitation problem. Okay, so this is what we want. Uh, uh, we want to know at what height G is going to be, G of height is going to be 4.9 meters per second square. So we want to know at what altitude over the Earth's surface, at what altitude over the Earth's surface would uh, the uh, acceleration of gravity would be 4.9 meters per second square. So uh, basically this is what we want. Here's our Earth right here. And uh, well, we have the, the radius, of course, let's do the radius of the Earth. So this is going to be the center. And uh, this would be the radius of the Earth. Okay. And uh, we want to find out at uh, what altitude, let's put it over here. So uh, let's put a more, more, uh, more distance here. Okay right there. So uh, we want to find the altitude. Let's put a mass here. And this little mass is gonna have a mass M and it's gonna be Mg is gonna be the force of gravitation at this altitude. And this would be your H right there. And this would be the radius of the earth, okay? So, uh, we're looking for H right here. Uh, we're looking at this, this would be the surface, of course. This would be the surface of the earth. So uh, you want to find the altitude H uh, at uh, which, uh, uh, over the surface of the earth at which uh, G is 4.9 meters per second square. You got some data. You got the radius of the earth, the radius of the earth, which is uh, 6.4, 6.4 times 10 to the six meters. And we have the mass of the earth, of course, the mass of the earth is gonna be six times 10 to the 24 kilograms, okay. And we have G, which is the constant of gravitational, 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 Newton meters to the square over kilograms to the square. Okay, so let's uh, let's do our equations here. We know that the force uh, we know that the force of gravity is going to be the constant of gravitation, the mass of the Earth times uh, the mass of the particle over r to the square. And this is our formula right here. And we know that r, which is the distance, uh, we're looking for the distance to get over here, the distance to get to this little point right here, is gonna be the radius of the earth plus h, okay? And uh, uh, so we have here that uh, mg at h is going to be, see, plugging this one here, which is the weight. And the weight would be a force that comes this way. What would be this one right here? Uh, at a distance h over the surface of the earth, of course. And that's going to be g, a mass of the earth. Uh, times uh, the mass of the little particle. And this is gonna be Re, which is the radius of the earth plus H to the square, okay? And uh, we can cancel the little mass with the little mass here. And we can send this guy over here. Okay, Re, which is the radius of the earth plus H, which is what we're looking for to the square is equal to G, uh, mass of the earth divided by uh, GH, which we know is 4.9. And then we can get uh, the square root, 
let's get the square root of this guy and the square root of this guy. So this is going to cancel with the, the square. So R E plus H is going to be G mass of the earth over G uh, square root of this. And uh, we can say that uh, H is going to be uh, the constant of gravitation times the mass of the earth divided by GH square root of all this minus RE. Okay. So we can just plug our data here. So H is going to be 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. I'll, I'll do the units later. And uh, the mass of the earth is going to be uh, 6. 6 times 10 to the 24. As, as I'm saying here, I'll do the, uh, the units at the end. And this is going to be 4.9. And then we're going to get the square root of all this stuff here. And this is going to be minus the radius, which is uh, 6.4 times 10 to the 6. So uh, H uh, is going to be, if we do all this math right here, H is going to come to be... Uh, the square root 81.6 times 10 to the 12, and we still got to get the square root of all that, minus 6.4, 6.4 times 10 to the 6. Uh, so uh, H is going to be, if we get the square root of 81.6, it's going to be 9.033 times 10 to the 6 minus 6.4 times 10 to the 6. So H is going to be, you can factorize, and it's going to be 9.033 minus 6.4. Factorize the 10 to the 6. And that's going to give you an answer of uh, H is going to be 2.63, 2.63 times 10 to the 6 meters, right there. And this would be your answer. And this is the answer from the book, the Resnick and Holiday. So uh, uh, that's the problem. I'm just going to work out the units for real quick so we can... Uh, we can be in the same page. Let me do another board. So this is the answer. This is the answer of the problem is correct. Uh, let me do the units in another board. Here we go. So we said that H uh, is going to be equal to uh, the constant of gravitation, the mass of the earth divided by G. And then we got to get the square root of this minus R radius of the earth. So H is going to be, so the units is going to be Newton, Newton uh, meter to the square over kilogram to the square for G, the constant of gravitation, the mass of the earth is going to be in kilograms. And this is divided by G, which is uh, meters over second square. And we've got to get the square root of this minus, uh, this is going to be in meters, the radius of the earth. So um, what happens here? Let's see who goes away. So, uh, okay, you got G, which is Newton meter square over kilogram square and the mass of the earth in kilograms and G's came. So uh, this, um, this guy goes away with the square right there. Uh, this uh, meter goes away with this square over here. And we got that H is gonna be Newton, which is kilogram meter over second square, that is Newton. Uh, Newton is kilogram meter second square times meter. 
and uh, divided by, okay, no meter is gone. Meter is gone right here. There's no more meter because we got kilogram. Uh, oh yeah, we got meter right here. Let's put it back. This meter right here, because this is Newton. Newton is kilogram meter second square. Then we have our meter right there. And then we have our kilogram right here, this kilogram that survives. And this is divided by one over seconds to the square. We still got to get the square root of that minus meter. Uh, so, um, so this kilogram, this kilogram is gonna cancel with this kilogram. Uh, this seconds to the square is gonna cancel with this guy. And H is going to be the square root. Meter times meter is going to give you meters to the square minus meter, which is going to throw you meters minus meters, which is going to give you meters. And uh, as we can see, our units checked uh, pretty good. So there you go. You have another problem here. And uh, we'll do more problems involve, involving gravitation. Thank you. See